there are many tools in the MAP framework, and what's nice about it is that you can sort of pick and choose the tools that you might use according to your assessment of what your office is in need of. One of the things that we've done is to build a protocol around measuring accurately for measuring blood pressures in our patients when they come in. We measure a blood pressure with our regular blood pressure machine, and if that is abnormal, if that's elevated, then we use a confirmatory machine which can do an average of three blood pressures to make us feel like okay, the blood pressure that we're getting here in the office is the best that we can get, and, and then I feel comfortable making you know, clinical decisions and changes in, in management with that data. Sometimes when a patient is running to the doctor, they come in and their blood pressure's high, and they just ran out of the bus and they don't want to be late. So this new device is more of a confirmatory check to see in a relaxed mode how you normally feel during the day, how, how your blood pressure really comes out. I help develop, you know, protocols and train other MAs on how to follow those protocols. Um, so basically planning and, and putting things together and then disseminating it overall to every MA here. It might be a little bit more work initially, but in the long run, it pays off because if we have the equipment necessary at the clinic level and our staff is trained how they should um, and our providers are diagnosing correctly and giving the right medication, we also are able to provide them with education and resources to control their blood pressure. I think the MAP framework is a great resource for any office that would adopt it to work with patients with high blood pressure.